Okay guys, so we are playing against 7350, so he's playing the Karokan. Let's go d4. And basically he's playing for uh, uh, d5 of course. Now basically here we can exchange, we can advance, but I wish to go for uh, the main line. Basically he's going to take. Now he can play with the, with the bishop or with the knight. Um, basically in this position we can defend the knight and we can also take so I think taking is actually quite interesting and basically he's doubling up his pawn uh, bishop to d6 is coming next following up with the short castle so for now let's keep uh, improve the position uh, c3 is, in, is the move so basically bishop d6 is the main idea and after it he will try to go for the castle and uh, put the rook on the center uh, so for now let's keep improving Basically, Black's idea is to try to uh, to uh, use this pawn in order to attack my position. So, as you see, he will probably going to attack us uh, uh, on the uh, on the king side as uh, soon as possible. So let's play bishop e2, and I guess we can already go for h3 just to ask this bishop what he's trying to do. Okay, and yeah, and let's go uh, queen b3 in, just to increase the pressure on his position. As you see, <clears throat> this pawn is also controlling some squares, so I, don't, I can't really uh, develop my knight. Okay, so he's offering us a queen exchange, which I don't really want to allow, of course. Um, but I guess I can, if he's going to take, I'm going to uh, get an open file for my uh, queen. So for now, let's allow that. If you want, we can take. Okay, and basically we need to develop the bishop. Let's find the square for the bishop. I guess bishop uh, e3 makes sense in a way. Just improving the position, of course. Okay, now my question is that we got a small discover attack. We can also push uh, d5. Now, basically, after d5, um, he can push. He can push d5 himself if you want. Um then maybe, maybe we can even play bishop b5, but we need to take care of this pin. Uh, also, we can maybe put the rook on the center, which makes some sense before committing anything. And as you see, even though we got some pressure on this uh, position, um, bishop is also guarding and securing it, and also this pawn is really restricting our knight, so it's not so simple to develop. Now, as you see, uh, basically, if I'm going to take open A file, is not going to be uh, really good for him because uh, he's just going to have some double pawns or maybe a knight uh, on uh, B6, which is not really active. So we can just keep that in mind. Uh, but also we need to take care about uh, the position because I feel like we can maybe even do a bit better. So basically, uh, we can already go for an aggressive move of uh, G4, just pushing the, the bishop away. And then maybe even play for a knight h4, increasing the pressure. But to be honest, I think that maybe before committing anything, we can uh, keep improving. Okay, so for now, um, let's reconsider the move uh, basically d5. Uh, again, he can push, he can maybe even play bishop c5, which is a move. Um, also, I am considering the move knight to d2, following up with the knight to c4, with a very nice fork between the bishop and the queen. And we are going to probably exchange um, exchange bishop after. So I think this, this is actually a very nice idea. And as you see, I did took my I take my time on uh, on the position, so we, I need to pay, to play a bit faster. Okay, so he declined the trade, but now we got uh, knight. Um, c4, I guess he will maybe trade and then move his bishop away. But then we get an open file and, uh, and as you see we got uh, bishop to f3. Now as you see we can be, uh, possibly take the bishop, this is a fair idea. Uh, we can also try to search for another move. No, so basically taking the bishop and now take a free pawn uh, makes a lot of sense. And we do need to be careful because he can try to maybe take on b2, but basically we can just grab another pawn. So I think that uh, we are actually better in this position. But clearly he's got some ideas, so 
we need to make sure that we are not uh, trapping uh, the queen or anything okay so for now let's grab another pawn uh, we just need to make sure again that it doesn't really have anything no i don't see anything in this position even though it's a bit scary but basically i'm fine and yeah as you see we have got the first pawn and before pushing it i'm just going to bring the queen back to safety basically queen d1 <clears throat> is uh, really good okay and uh, as you see he got some pressure against uh, g2 basically sliding the bishop back to f1 makes a lot of sense just securing everything okay and this move is not really scary because basically you can just slide the queen back uh, queen b3 is a move and after take and take I guess it's fine but I actually want to push so actually queen d1 I think it's uh, even better and from now you can go you can play even aggressive if you want we can play for example uh, queen g4 following up with the uh, bishop h6 and also as you see this bishop is uh, got some pressure on the position but we still need to take care about uh, this pawn so uh, basically i can take and take and then play maybe queen uh, queen g4 makes sense just to relieve the pressure that we got that we got on uh, b2 and we are almost ready to push the pawn now for example in this position playing a move like f5 makes some sense I think f5 was actually quite better, but um, bishop g6 is good because now he's blocking any checkmate ideas. Okay, so let's push the pawn. We just need to be, uh, again, just uh, mindful on, about the clock, but basically this is completely winning for us. Uh, I'm not really positive that uh, he can make something out of this position, but of course we need to be careful and keep everything uh, solid. Okay, so if I can give you any tip, guys, uh, if you are trying to improve in chess and you are searching for the top move and uh, it's not simple for you, just remember that basically uh, you want to improve the position, uh, you want to create a position that you're comfortable, you want to um, make sure that basically you got a plan, so that you are playing for something. So my plan in this position was to grab a pawn or two, and then create this very strong fast pawn. So even though you see that he's got so much activity around uh, my position, I'm almost up there and uh, basically we can uh, next time give a check and promote. So even though if he try to, I don't know, uh, uh, fork the bishop and the queen somehow, even though it's not really working at this moment, uh, basically we are uh, much, much better, okay? We are play playing for a plan. Uh, this rook is behind this pawn, we are basically ready to play check and uh, then promote. Okay, so basically we can even take this pawn, exchange. Okay, and in case we try to win this pawn following up with the queen a6 for example, we can play even bishop uh, c8 just securing everything. Okay, so as you see, for example, this is a very nice move because he's attacking and securing this pawn, but he doesn't really have any time to uh, to attack this pawn because I'm almost uh, about to promote. So basically, bishop uh, b8 is securing everything. And again, guys, if you want to prove, search for a plan, okay? Play, play for a plan. Um, okay, so, okay. Um... Rook g5 is a move, of course. I guess he will try to maybe increase the pressure. We can uh, throw this check, but I'm not really convinced that it's really strong. Yeah, so for now, I think actually playing for a uh, queen f3, I want to take this pawn and then maybe secure the promotion. Okay, I don't really want to uh, move this rook because moving the rook with a check even though it seems like scary for black it's just going to talk the king for safety and then our bank rank is going to be weak okay so I actually uh, love to put the rook there and we are not really afraid that uh, black king is going the black queen is going to take this pawn because uh, we are about to promote any moment now 
okay so if yo and, and this is not a good move okay because now if i'm going to take his queen he can take with the rook or with the pawn doesn't really matter and we are on time to promote so this is actually a blunder okay taking with the rook or the pawn regardless we are going to promote so it's not really a good move by black but he did play solid and it was a very good game now of course we promote okay and as you see he's got some pressure uh, in this position i'm so strong that i can even sacrifice the exchange and still win this game um, yeah basically now he doesn't really have anything but again he played really good uh, until this moment of course and yeah he's just giving up so basically we can take we can also maybe even go for a mate basically queen f8 and this is mate next Mm. This is actually nice. He's, uh, he's trying desperately to hold on, of course. Um, yeah, okay, let's just take. Never mind, let's just take. So basically, this is not a mate, unfortunately. And we want to take and secure everything. Okay, now in this position, we need to be careful because he might even draw this game. So as you see, he's got some square, squares, but... Uh, of course, uh, this is the only legal move for uh, black, so we need to be mindful of that. Okay, so we won because of uh, registration. GG, well played. Okay, so if I can give you my advice, uh, I saw a lot of games by grandmasters and uh, high-rated players. Uh, you see that they are uh, slowly but carefully trying to improve their positions and find better square for, for their pieces and trying to develop a plan, a realistic one. So if, if I can uh, draw back to the position. Okay, so basically, <clears throat> as you see the moment that uh, he moved his queen back, I guess it's a mistake, not a blunder probably, but uh, now the moment that I'm going to take this bishop, when, when he take with the queen, I'm free to take this pawn. Now, of course, that he can play uh, rook b8 with the tempo on the queen, and then this moment I can take another pawn. And even though that I'm going to lose uh, b2 square, I'm still uh, still created a first pawn. And this first pawn is behind the rook, which is a very, very strong idea. And yeah, basically, my plan is to push and push and push until I uh, promote. And as you see, even though uh, he was trying to develop his rooks and pieces and trying to create an attack. As you see, everything is basically secured. It seems like extremely aggressive, but basically we are completely solid. Um, this promotion is coming. Okay, th this move was nice because he's trying to delay, but again, um, securing this pawn, making some exchanges, and yeah, basically that's it. Okay, so yeah, hope you enjoyed and see you in the next time. Thank you for watching.